What's up everybody? It's Guy Boat Johnny Hill back at again another video. This has to be the funniest almost fight I've ever seen in my life. So it, this video has been going viral all over the internet. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it, but it is a GOP senator who is fighting challenges a uh, number of the teamsters um, to a fight. <laughs> and this, this honestly, I wish this happened. I mean, this should happen more in Congress. I think it would be hilarious. It would probably settle a lot of differences. Let's be honest here. But two men in a fucking cage on fight over wins, wins the argument. But um, just check this out. Off the behavior, as everybody knows, this here in the last night, and I kind of had a back and forth. Uh, appreciate your demeanor today. It's quite different. But after you left here, you got pretty excited about the keyboard. In fact, you tweeted at me one, two. Now, you got to love how a lot of these meetings have um, arguments over Twiddle. They, they, they argue over Twiddle, and then they argue in these sinning hymns. And it's just like, dude, you might as well just let these people scrap. But Three, four, five times. So let me read what the last one said. Um, said, greedy CEO who pretends like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company myself. And my wife was running the office because I should remember working pretty hard and long hours. Now, I've, I've did a little bit of a back um, research on this. So, he claims that he made a business. Apparently, the business was started from his dad. So... That's the research that I've done on this so far. So he claims that he started this company. Meanwhile, apparently his father was the one that started the company. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been. Always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. So this is the time, this is the place. You want to run your mouth? We can be two consenting adults. We can finish here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Let's stand your butt up. Yeah. Why does he say stand your butt up? You're challenging this guy to a fight. Just say stand your ass up. You know, like, don't don't be all fucking politically correct about this. You know what I mean? You, you're challenging. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Both these guys don't look like they can fight, but. You know, if, if you're going to do it, you might as well have some cussing in there. You stand up, bud. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Stop it. Is that your solution? Every no, no. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. You got to you know, you're a United States senator. Act it. Oh, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Fucking Bonnie Sanders just about to blow the gasket over you. Can I respond? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. If oh, we I'm can't, no, I have the mic. I'm sorry. This is all I said. You'll have your time. Can I respond? You know, it, like, honestly, like, this is what they should have done. They should have had Boney as the ref and then fucking just let those guys fight. Like, it, it would literally be the most watched fight of all time. I guarantee it, especially if it was to happen right here. Like, it, they should do it. They should have an actual, like, MMA or box match. And just do it for charity. I think that would be fucking incredible. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I, I know this is a short video, but I, I think this is just absolutely <laughs> hilarious. You know what I mean? I think they should actually have scraps and Senate meetings. I really do. You know, fuck the bickering back and forth. Have two people right in the middle of the fucking Senate floor just beat the shit out of each other. Whoever fucking wins, wins the argument. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe for 20. Peace.